Okay, we got a house here uh, valued at uh, $2,850,000. Built in 1957, 12,000 square foot lot. Hopefully, you can see. Uh, interesting looking house. Beautiful yard. As you can see, the trees everywhere. And well landscaped. Probably an old timer lived here at one time. Inside is like like brand new. Nicely renovated. Some nice, just you know, well kept and very clean. It's a carport here. We'll do the outside tour for minutes. Big double car carport, I guess. Stuck on the outside. Oh, nice. This is a nice yard. Place where you can sit back and relax. So that's the yard. I don't see the apples or nothing, but. So these houses have no alley, they're just like back to back homes. And then the front is your uh, access point. So here it is back. Do a look around here. So interesting house. Oh, grapes! Look at that. Right on. Pretty good. Oh yeah, actually they probably are good. Seed them, but not too bad. Not a lot of grapes, but a few. Pretty good. I'll take someone to leave. Okay, so house, like I said, built in 1957. Drywall plaster finishes upstairs. So we'll do the tour upstairs. Okay. Get my shoes off. Yeah, obviously brand new fireplace. Quite nice actually. <clears throat> so we're here, living room, pretty big. Here's your back, balcony. Um, very nice view here, but it's a little, a little rainy and a little kind of off. You see all the commercial ships there waiting to go for grain or whatever grain oil where they're offloading so a nice view you'll have a beautiful view here summertime especially when it's nice and clear probably you'll probably see the Gulf Islands and stuff so actually nice deck actually quite nice okay let's look at this Floor is in nice shape too. Hot water heats. So we have a dining room area. It's not too bad. Nice floor. There's an updated kitchen, but I think what happened here is it dried out here from the sun. Because the sun sun probably is in here really hard, burnt. Kind of dried the wood out, but it was probably pretty nice at one time. Looks like, almost like an oak. I'm checking this drawer here. So, I'll check the sink here for a second. Okay. Okay, so that's the kitchen. Uh, we're looking into the washroom now. Actually, quite quite a nice washroom. Tub seems a bit small. The tub should be, I would think, be a little bigger. But oh well. So not too bad. Nice sink here. Just right. 
Funny how they notched over on the plumbing. Don't see that too often. Huh, notched again. Never seen that before. So, very nice washroom. Then we have a bedroom. And closet doors. Nice hardwood floors everywhere. Oak. Oak strips. We did some, put a bunch of pot lights in here. Something newer, newer addition. So I don't know if this is maybe an office or something. Let's see, it might be office. It looks like a one bedroom upstairs with office. The way it's laid out. Yeah. Okay, we'll tour down here. The nice rail actually. You don't see oak like this too often on the rail. Kind of nice. But I think they upgraded that to be honest. This is an added feature. Okay, we got a uh, big giant rec room, fireplace, which is old. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we get into our bedroom. Probably a bedroom, I think. Uh, possibly another bedroom. So it could be three bedrooms down here, I'm thinking. No treasure is very clean. Looks like it was freshly painted also. I guess you want the paint try to get maximum dollar. And the outside looks painted too. It's a little different system. This one's just cut out. Hmm. No shower system. So this is a demolition. This, everything's going to be torn down. So they'll salvage what they can, I would think. But it's definitely a demo. Laundry area. It's pretty big laundry. Doors. So laundry is quite big. Okay, so we're into the boiler room, the workshop. storage room so this is an, under the front stairs you see a little room there oh, what kind of treasures do we have here part of a fishing reel Gadgets. Probably stainless, I would think. No, stainless. You just never know what people tuck up there, right? So, take a better look. It's a light bulb. clean fiberglass but we just, just want to check a look at the boiler pipe here okay it's pretty clean for a workshop they painted the floor so I mean like I said they did some painting upgrades and so on it's got a fairly new boiler 
A little bit of copper, not a lot. So. Mm. We'll probably have to test those elbows, that uh, gray material in the corners, because that's the boiler system. So we'll be test testing some of those to see. Okay. Okay, that's a pretty old tour, I guess. That's about what it is. Fairly clean home, not a lot to look at. That's another little, little, like a little hmm, closet, huh? Pretty big. Okay, that's the tour here. Two point two million eight hundred fifty thousand dollar home assessed at two thousand nineteen. Assessment originally it was over three million in 2018, so price went down a little bit. Just the real estate's in a bit of a slump. Okay, not too bad. That's it for this tour. Another radiator here. Screwdriver is a little thick. I try to find my red one. It's just a touch thick. clips on this one and the one I had was wider clips Okay, one side should be out. We have to do basically the one side. Should come, should come out. Okay. I'll take the seal off here. Straightforward. This is got brass here. Hmm. So there might be a brass core in this thing underneath this thing here Probably better this way for some reason. Okay, be interested to see what's in this thing on the side of it. Basically, it should be out. Yeah, looks like brass, it's just plastic. Wow, so there's nothing there. That is a surprise. Okay. I'm just going to take this 
Insulation off so they can't complain. Let's use the screwdriver, right? Kind of gross hair or something here. Sometimes cats crawl up where the radiators are and they get, uh, when the guy starts it, they get skinned a bit. Some cats have died. Okay, well, so that's it. It's not heavy. Maybe five pounds if you're lucky. Okay, a little bit of garbage out of there. Let's grab this TV here now. This extremely heavy, all metal back. Something seems so heavy. Millions of screws. That's the problem with these TV series. There's good stuff inside, but a lot of screws. Yeah, this will probably have a, a lot of screws. You can make jars full of this stuff. Try to sell them if you can. Come on, it gets so loose. Just want to show you the amount of screws there is, like so that you guys realize. Instead of me going to the screw, like unscrewing this and not showing you exactly what's there, you guys would be surprised how many screws there is. Very easy to, you know, miss them too. Okay, I think I have it. Hmm. What's going on here? Why is it so tight? Two more here. Thought I had them all, nope. Even that's a heavy piece. Probably about seven, eight pounds. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Hmm. Wow, look at all that stuff here. See, that's your old school TVs. Even got some aluminum in here.
else I could just snip. Um, snips are I think over here. Yeah, this battery I found the other day. It's actually got juice in it there. I used a, a good bar and, and it sparks like crazy, so probably a good battery. I thought it looked no good, but no, it looks good to me. So I'm gonna charge it, put on charge if it's a good battery, I'm gonna save it for a spare for something. Just so never know when you need a battery, right? Like I do have one in the garage my truck. When I drive winter time, the batteries seem to drain a lot faster. So I might have to get something from my truck. Let's get another pail here. For the iron and different things. That's so much nicer getting rid of that trailer. This gives me so much extra room. Oh yeah, okay, I need something for circuit boards. I might actually put, put some boards in here. Gives me all that extra room, right? Which makes a big difference. Look at this, this whole area. I'm going to get rid of all these blocks. Build a retaining wall, build that up here. So I'm going to have, I'm going to put a fence, fence from the gas meter. That way. And then build that up here. So I'm going to have a little, little staging area if I, if I need it for, for something. Fence it off so if I have HMS or something, something heavier I can put there. Okay. So like I have kind of two categories of boards. I'll have the power boards and then I'll have the uh, regular boards. That have the like the have the gold recovery. See like this. Nice heat sink here. This almost depending. Just throwing um. Just all the other stuff in there for now, I guess. It's another huge power board here too. Look at the amount of the amount of stuff here. Like, is that just old technology, or do you need that stuff today? In today's technology, like it just makes you wonder. Why is it so much stuff here? quite the wire one more screw see look at that copper coils copper relays in these things transformer this is too aluminum this one might be steel these are steel maybe mm, it could be aluminum too let me just look just got a shiny look so sometimes like steel yeah it's steel so look at this transformer 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 another some a spool another kind of a copper bearing thing so i mean the potential's there right this stuff is heavy that board is really really heavy it's just amazing, amazing how much material is here I wonder if I have another, I'll just throw a shred in there, shred in there for now. And also, like I say, this whole back, 
the TV's aluminum too. It's too hard to separate the glass. Glass is somewhat glued to it. Look at that. Aluminum, cast aluminum. Right? So you can like these old TVs have a lot of cool stuff in there. That's that. Okay. I've never seen fans in these TVs before. So it's just something new in this TV. Normally you don't see fans. So maybe there's less heat sinks in here. They try to save a little bit of money maybe. It's hard to say what they did here, but. Another kind of power board. This good board right here. Hundreds of screws in this thing. And a metal gun. Here's the board that I want. That's why I can't scrap these. I have to take them all apart. You know, I need to get these boards. These boards are awesome. And some are like smart TVs, so they have other stuff there too. See that? A big corner chip. See? Gold bond wires, bonding wires, bonding wires, bonding wires anywhere is there probably most likely because it's old technology right it's not new so the chances are high for that it's amazing how this team is built It's holding what now? Oh, I see. This whole thing's in the whole circuit board. So this, is, this is your computer now. This will be like having a computer. All this year. I can get all parts. Hmm. Screw here. Okay. This is nice. Something here. See, look at look how big this board is here. So, see, more gold corner chip. See that? Look at that. That's why I love these TVs, the old TVs. 
Old corner chip Panasonic, big flat pack, flat pack, flat pack. These are RAM type chips. Another one here. Let's see. Well, look, you're getting, you're getting this out of this. Plus, you're getting another board that's still got some stuff on it. You know what? This has the gold, gold plating on these things. I just realized here, or chucked it, chucked it through a few in here. It's all gold plating. It's in the gold plating. I'm not sure how good it is, but it's still gold plating. Yeah, see, this has gold plating on the, all the pieces. So keep your eye out for the gold plating. Also, kind of jumped the gun there. Yeah, it's all gonna be gold plating this whole thing. So all these ones here. So they're actually a, a plating, it's not flashed, it's actual plating. We'll turn the tuner board, it's not worth nothing. Okay, so another flat flat chip, another one here too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strip the rest of this here so it'll make the video too long on this part. And I'll break it down and I'll show you some of the other parts at the end here. Okay, here's the TV set here. Looks glued on pretty good. There's uh, all aluminum, the back. It's on a screen. I'm going to see if I can just pry. Curious if, if I could... Probably a little, little bit loose. Oh, no, no chance. Okay, so too much, too much work. To pop it off, but it's, it's all cemented in there really good. So that's your screen. That's all steel here. There's a lot of steel actually. I'm really surprised. A couple speakers here. That's steel. All this. Uh, aluminum here these came these aluminum, but they got some sort of like a circuit thing there You have to take a couple screws out to clean it Aluminum there these are the gold Gold plated fingers uh, Here's some uh, actual gold plated fingers here mm, Came off the TV and um, Not sure if there's any gold recovery in these things. I'm not sure there's some sort of IC chips also uh, all these screws here, look at the amount of screws, and there's still a few kicking around, but that's the majority. So a lot of screws. Here's a set of speakers. So you've seen the boards I showed you earlier. So here's more, more little pieces there. A couple more. Speakers I can just throw in a shred. Just um, cut off the wire for now. So that's that TV there, and I have another board here. I don't know if there's anything worth like value in here, but it's a shielded circuit, so, so. Well, that's got a nice IC chip actually in it. Okay, it's got a couple IC chips, so these two chips for sure will take off. And even those could have some bonding wires, possibly. This one I don't see too much. A little bit of gold plating on here. It's like a memory card or something. Yeah, right there. So a little bit of plating there. Oh, she came off. She came out. So a little bit of plating there. I'm not sure if there's anything on the opposite side, but really not because it's the shielding side. Yeah, we'll just throw this in the shred. 
Okay, so a little bit of gold plating on the joints here for the card. So not too bad. Right, you know what I'm saying? And this thing is pretty heavy too. You know, he's throwing the shred. You know, it's probably about um, 20 pounds maybe. Plus, you know, when you grind up, it's aluminum. It's all aluminum here anyway, so. A guy could separate if you hit it with a hammer if you wanted to and really take time, but aluminum is so cheap right now, it's just not worth it, but. So we got a good good amount of steel. That's the back. This is the, the face plate. I cut it up. There's one uh, tempered glass here. And that's the back steel. Okay. I'll show you the big TV when it's taken apart. I just want to show you the interior for the parts wise. But you got the hint. It's one big body with a bunch of circuits all over it. Gold bearing, some copper bearing. And the rest is basically a little bit of plastic, a little bit of glass. Okay. TV with a... I can't believe all the heat sinks, uh, not heat sinks, but all these fans here. Look at this. I don't remember seeing fans before, but look at this chip here. Wow. One, two, three, four, five gold corner chips. Huge flat packs everywhere. This is an awesome, awesome board. Like, really, really good. Lots of heat sinks, spo spools, transformers. Very nice board. Even these things are icy chips here, too. Usually they're in epoxy. These ones aren't in epoxy. You pound them off. I'm not sure if there's any, anybody knows anything about uh, bonding wires, if there's any in these other ones, but... Wow, that's a nice board. Like I say, you know, um... You have to take, take these old TV sets when you find them, because pretty soon they'll be all gone. Like I say, they only last about 10 15 years, right? They get chucked out. When I did spring cleanup, I looked at all TV dates, and they're all like 10 12 years old. Every TV, so either they're broke, broke down, or they're outdated. Hard to say, but um, super nice, super nice. I'll tell you. And, you know the wire builds up too. I mean, there's look at the wire coming out of there. There's wire, so it's got lots of jumpers everywhere. Wires. So, anyways, let me just take that board off. See if there's anything underneath it. But uh, this was a video, some sort of video. Also, it says video inputs. The gold plated, a lot of gold plated stuff here. All these RCAs are gold plated, which is kind of not normal either, right? Take this frame off here, aluminum frame. Oh, look at that! Three more gold corner chips, big ones. Two big ones and small ones, so that's what eight gold corner chips. Wow, that's like a couple, com two, three computers. I think computers only have three usually. See that, guys? And then see. They're Pioneer Gold Corner Chips. Wow, very impressive. Okay, so you guys seen it, just want to show you. Uh, I already stripped the small TV. Threw it over there, it was just a small one, didn't have really much in it. But if you find them with steel backs, they're gonna have a steel back. That's when they're really, really good. They're gonna get something like this. Maybe not as good, but Pretty close to most of them are like this. Okay, I stripped uh, those two big TVs and another TV. So I did get uh, a couple pails or a couple containers of metal, and then the metal over there. This whole aluminum here. There's a lot of uh, little pieces here and there. It wasn't too bad. It's all clean here now. These are my circuit boards. This is more like gold flashing here, so there's not really, really any value there. But, um, it's still processing, right? But it's a smaller amount. I guess I can't believe how big these circuit boards are. 
Look at these things. Look at these. Pretty big circuit boards, I'll tell you. So what I'm going to do is do the, all these flat screen TVs, these small ones, get them out of here. And then I'll have all my TVs done here. I'm going to dump, dump them tomorrow with, with whatever's in that van there tomorrow. And then maybe uh, I take a little bit of aluminum, I'll take maybe this aluminum. And then whatever else, I can round up a couple things. I was going to take the battery there, but I think the battery's good still. I'm going to hold off on the battery just because I think there's some life in there. First, scrapping it the way it is. Okay. My, my load for tomorrow. I took the two mortars off that bed. We just had an um, armature, two armatures, small. I got most of the stove stripped apart here. Uh, I think I got about 13 or 14 TV sets here. Two big ones, two or three medium ones, and then all this stuff here. We're going to go to uh, another yard tomorrow. It's the Asian yard, and probably can do some video there. It'd be better. It's only ten dollars cheaper they pay so I might as well have at least some entertainment versus not filming so if, if it was like thirty forty dollars difference then it'd be a different story but they pay sixty at ever the other place they pay seventy so okay so all this is gonna go barbecue I took the fitting off it I took the mortar the fan I stripped everything I wanted there's a hot water tank has a pressure relief valve on the side I can't get it off it's just way in there and right now I'm kind of in a position I can't get properly to it but uh, maybe I'll bring a pipe wrench tomorrow and I can probably wrench it off before I throw it out hopefully if I remember okay so that's it we'll show you you'll see this tomorrow I'll probably do a recap in the morning again but this shows you this is all TVs we stripped so I got nothing no TVs in this yard here at all but I have about 50, 60 at the other house, which I gotta tear them all apart. And I got about 20 microwaves, maybe. And then I wanna get rid of that stainless steel stuff. Uh, a few things, but I still, tomorrow I might do that uh, breakdown on that uh, commercial heat exchanger. Cause I kinda need to add that vehicle. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Because um, that's a lot of work there. The mortars are really heavy. I'm just a little concerned. They could be 200 pounds those mortars each So I don't know if I can lift 200 pounds safely Right You know, they're just nothing to hold on to. They're just little tubes basically a 12 inch diameter or 12 inches wide So they're pretty big Okay, that's it for now. Don't forget to uh, subscribe share like uh, Getting close to that 10,000 subs there. So we need those Anybody who hasn't subbed, likes my channel, and watches me daily, don't forget to sub. Okay, have a great day, guys. See you tomorrow.